They're so close. The bear's coming this way. I don't know if you can hear this, people. But the bear is running. These dog, hunting dogs, are, <clears throat> excuse me, chasing the bear. And it's coming this way. Oh, wow. Man, I don't know if you can hear him. I mean, like at 6.15 this morning, I'm hearing the sound. I'm going, wow. You know, they're so close. And it's coming closer. I hope you can hear this. It's violence. Complete violence. And I mean, there's a lot, a lot more than the other night. That week that was just every night, every day. I mean, this has got to be just frightening for a bear or any animal. It's coming here. Well, he could run on my property. I don't know if he's going to stop on there. Well, not my property, but the property I'm staying on. I don't know if that's going <clears> to... <throat> well, dogs aren't going to stop. This is just an... I, you know, I heard uh, coyotes last night, a pack of them, celebrating a kill or hunting or whatever. All different octaves of the families yelling, talking, whatever. This, man, this got to be frightening for that bear. Sounds like there's a hundred of them. You know, along the road here yesterday in, in the forest, there was about eight trucks all camping. They weren't even staying on people's property, but they're allowed to stay in the forest, pitching up tents anywhere. And it was just, you know, all along the road, all out of state. Yeah, not what I came for. I thought I saw one dog. Way down there, white, run. You know, this could be a batch of different owners' dogs that smelled the same bear. You know, I, that's what it has to be, because this is way more than the typical six dogs that each owner has.
terrible. Just terrible. They're coming up here. I mean, it can't be more than 200 yards maybe. They're getting closer. The owner it just stopped. So the owners finally came and got the dogs. But I woke up at 6.15 hearing this. Who knows if it's not recording on the phone, I'm not going to send it. But what a way to start the day.